Good afternoon to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. So we've got a most unusual machine for you. I didn't really know what it was when I bought it. It has a large double spring Garrard 10B motor, a very small sound box as you see, a very small horn in the front here, and a butterfly valve at the side so that it plays either through that very small horn or through these listening tubes. Almost odd. Then I lifted the turntable off, which hopefully I can do again. There we go. And all was revealed, viewers, with this Decker plate. It's the St Dunstan's model. And this is the very first talking book machine. It has a very small sound box, as you see, only an inch across. And the idea is um, that it would play the talking books for the blind, produced by the Decker Record Company in 1935 in association with the St Dunstan's Hospital for the Blind. They play at 16 RPM for 25 minutes per side. Thus a set of 10 records will uh, contain a complete book. I only have one record to go with this sadly, which I will demonstrate. Here it is. Sound Recording Committee recorded solely for the use of the blind. Talking books for the blind. Essentials of Medical Electricity by E.P. Cumberbatch read by Duncan Cass, published in nine records for the Sound Recording Committee, 228 Great Porton Street, London, not far from the BBC. Anyway, here we go. Now these are produced in a rather soft shellac, designed so you get a better surface. They have less carpet under them, so less crackle. Now, it's very, very difficult to actually get the thing to the right speed. I'm doing something wrong, probably, viewers. So we'll see what happens. We'll let it run and then we'll bring it down to speed. There we go. Here we go with the sound box. Well, there we go, viewers. I think that demonstrates it, and that will play for 25 minutes. Why this particular record or set of records is rather a grotesque set of records about uh, sort of um, electrical, sort of passing electrical current through intimate bits of women, which is a bit unfortunate, really, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that. 1935, a very unusual machine. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.